Hello again, everybody. My name is Kurtz. And I'm Run Bam, Run Faster. But that's a little long, so I just call him Bam. Welcome back to games I'd like to film. I'm going to get this right. Yeah, you did it the last two times. I think I think you got it this time for sure. Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP Songs and Sounds by Jim Guthrie. Yeah! Good job. Good Practice job. makes perfect, kids. Yep. It makes perfects. Makes perfects. Yep. All of them. All of the perfects. Uh, so last episode, we accomplished... Fuck all. Uh, we literally just walked around and shot the shit for like ten minutes, and that's not cool, guys. It's cool for us. I mean, I mean yeah, we love doing that shit, but it's not it's not great for you. So, we, 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 we cheated a little bit. We looked up what comes next, because we want to make sure that we're entertaining for it you. Turns out that we went completely yeah. balls around. Turns out I for- totally fucking forgot what to do. We totally tried to put the balls in the wrong hole, and it yep. didn't work yep. out. Can you tell we're just coming off of a Rock of Ages session? <laughs> oh, we totally are. Yep, yep, yep. So, we're going to do the thing now. Yes, we're doing the thing that involves... Which Trigon are we going for first again? The Bright uh, Moon? We're going to go for the Bright Moon, because apparently if you go for the Dark Moon, it changes how you get the Bright Moon. And I don't want to deal with that bullshit. So we're going to go for the Bright Moon Trigon. Yeah. Going for Bright Moon. But we've got the key, so we can just, you know, automatically yeah. turn on. We're not doing this waiting crap. Oh, no, no. no. The next episode of Games I'd Like to Film, Restore, and the Sorcery will be in two weeks. Until then, you'll just tune in each day to listen to us talk about our lives. For Pretty much, yeah. We'll just we'll just dick around the game, not accomplishing anything for two weeks. Oh, oh, that would drive everybody insane, including us. I mean, you could always, like, play another game. Nah. No. No? No. No? No. We don't start another game until we finish this game, he said, as he considers what one night stand he's going to film next. Yeah. Oh, you say that. You're just, like, having flings with games everywhere. I know, right? You I am. And, you and Myrtle. I'll admit, I'm a bit of a game slut. Yes, you are. Uh, I'm one of those people who, like, I'll start a million games, and, like, I'll just flip between them as they gain my interest. Yeah, whereas I'm, whereas as much crap as I'm giving him for not finishing things, I'm the one that refuses to start another book until I finish the book I'm on. Right. You are, you are a book monogamist. However, I read three books at a time. Oh, goodness. You're I'm a, a book polyamorist. Yes, you are. Goodness gracious. Not a book slut, I'm a book polyamorist. I'm a very picky book person. For like, being a lit major, yeah. I know, right? No, like, I, I think there's one more phase... We're in the bright yes. moon. Okay, there. Oh, that's yeah. the bright moon. Uh, but anyway, yeah, no, I'm a very picky book person. Like, I can read. If I if it's, like, assigned to me to read something, I'll read it all the way through. But when I'm, like, reading for enjoyment, like, a book has to grab me. And it has to continually grab me and grope me through the whole experience. Or I'll just, like, I'll put it down for two months. Ah, oh, fuck, again? <laughs> Every time! I think that's just, like, the toll that comes with, uh... Using the Moon Grotto. I believe it is. God! Also, his opinion of this thing has changed so dramatically since we started playing. It still freaks me out. I just, like... It freaks me out like like a monster that's been chasing you for 12 miles freaks you out. Like, you're still scared, but you're just like, fuck, fine, kill me already. But you don't die. No. I mean, you can die in this game. I actually don't know what happens when you die in this game. You probably just go back to your last save point. I, I mean, but it auto saves. So how? I mean, hmm. I don't know. Come on. You know, this is a game that I wouldn't be surprised that if they did something like tricksy when you die. Like that's just like the end of your game. But I don't know. Oh no, that's cheap. I hate the ones that make you start. This isn't a roguelike. If no. I'm gonna play a roguelike, it's gonna tell me right there on the label. Yeah. This is a roguelike. Perma death. If it is a hidden roguelike, you know what I do with that game? What? Terrible, awful things. We're called Game Interrogators for a reason, Bam. I wondered what the razor wire was for. Oh, not just the razor wire. The rubber ducky, too. Oh. Oh, my. Squeak, squeak, motherfucker. <laughs> to, to, to paraphrase, uh, Miss, Mr. Sulu. Oh, my. That was actually really good. Thank you. I like that. I've worked a lot on my George Takei. Have you? Actually, no. Okay. <laughs> Just something that comes naturally. Yeah, it was something I just discovered I could do one day. Yeah, that was... I think you and I both started off doing, uh, like, impressions early on in life. Yeah, like, like the first accent I ever picked up was... Uh, did you ever see, like, 
the Tasmanian Devil cartoon, like when he got his yes. own cartoon in the nineties. Yeah, I remember that. Right. There was like the the kangaroo guy who had a stupid Australian accent, and that was the first accent I ever picked up. To this day, I hate Australian accents. Yeah, there and goes our Australian there viewers. There goes our Australian viewers. No, I just it's it doesn't it doesn't suit me right. Can you still do it? The Australian accent? Yeah. Uh I would need to warm up. It's been a very long time. Just like a little peak. No, I like like I I don't think I could do it now without warming up. It's been that long. Do you need, like, another Australian accent to help you out? <laughs> you, you're you determined to get me to do this on camera. Yes. Is it's it? I, This is this is something we share. Like, we should share it with the audience because I start off, uh, okay, well, you're trying to warm up, maybe, mentally, whatever. Um, when I was a kid, I, I had this stuttering problem, and I couldn't talk. Yeah. Fun fact, by the way. Kurtz and I both grew up with speech and language impairments, and now we're literature majors doing voice work on the internet. You can set your mind to doing anything you want, kids. Apparently, uh, my mind went to do YouTube stuff. Apparently! Uh, yeah, the first person I remember watching, uh, I grew up in the 90s, and uh, I remember seeing Bill Clinton on TV. Oh, God! Uh, he was the first person I ever noticed that when he spoke, it was, you know... Very smooth and easy, and when Bill said something, it came out real nice, no matter who he was talking to. He just made you feel special. I did not have sexual relations with that video game. Not yet. We're planning on it. We just gotta <laughs> get away from the wife. <laughs> but we are planning on it. And I could just... I may not be the best one, but that's, like, something I can always slip into and just say whatever I want. So. Yeah. It's, it's, for me, it was, uh, the first accent I ever picked up was Irish. I, uh, oh, yes. No, I take that back. Nope. Uh, the first accent I ever picked up was this stupid Cockney that everyone, like, does and thinks that, oh, I can do a British accent. Good day, governor. Oh, uh, they just say, good day, governor. Yeah. Uh, but, like, they, like, they can do, like, quote unquote, the full accent, and it's awful every time. Yeah. Um, and then from there, I learned, I did the Irish accent, and I learned that. Um, and, uh, fun fact, I wanted to practice my Irish accent, uh, but I didn't have a place to do it in. So, back when Blockbuster was a thing, I decided that one day I was gonna go in and just, just pretend to be Irish. And I did, and they were amazed, and it was great, and I left, and then remembered that I went to that Blockbuster, like, all the time. So, for, like, three years, uh, I had to, uh, I get the feeling we're supposed to do a thing. Apparently. Yeah! Yes! Okay. There it is. Anyway, so for like three years, I went into that blockbuster pretending to be Irish. They never caught on. So either my accent is really good, or they're kind of stupid. When I, when I say that Bam is a long con kind of person... I really am. Like, like you know in The Prestige, how they've got like that guy who like pretends to be feeble so he can do his, fis his fishbowl trick? I'm that kind of guy. Yes, he, he, he maintains the old... Oh, yeah. He maintains it, never breaks character. I pretend to be an old man, but in but truth... He is still pretending to be my friend. Yes! And we are, what, six months into this? Oh, God, that is... Okay, what do I... Oh, do I have to, like, bring them to the other place? Maybe. I don't know. You're playing. I just look stuff up on the internet. Ugh. Maybe... No, I think they both have to be, like... There... Yeah, like, they both have to be in the water, maybe? Maybe, like, touching... Touch. Yeah, there we go. Oh. I just had to get the right moon in the right place. It's all about getting it in the right hole. Or right astral plane. <laughs> Maybe we should take a minute to talk about the game. Yeah. Um, the fact that we're in an island that was not pre previously. Yeah. That's that's what happened when we got all the bright moon sprites, by the way. Uh, wasn't a thing supposed to happen? Yes, I think so. Here, go back. I'm at the island again. Oh wait, maybe I have to be up here. I think you do. You know, the place where there's a temple. Is that a temple? It's more like a platform. Okay, we'll do the Song of Sorcery again. Yeah, offer some sign uh... of... Some sort of, uh... Bam. Okay. Maybe we... you need to be there while you do it. Maybe. Uh, it's doing the thing. The thing is happening. And we are sitting here. Oh! Ooh. Welcome to Bama's and Idiot Interrogators. We should probably should pull that down a little more. 
Or not. You know, I will pull my water level down as deep as I want to. I don't even know how to turn that to a euphemism. Deep and wide, deep and wide, this trigon glows deep and wide. I don't know, man. I really don't know where you're going for it with that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going in the place, though. I'm going to fight this trigon. Uh, this episode is already, like, ten minutes, but fuck it. It's going to be a long one. We didn't do anything last episode. I'm going to make up for that. By fighting a triangle. By fighting a triangle for your entertainment, Internet. I hope I hope you're appreciative. To be fair, this is a very aggressive triangle. It is. This triangle doesn't fuck around. You see that triangle? That triangle is from the hood. That's how you know it's serious. <laughs> hey, it's, don't you it's marginalize fr- our from, ghetto viewers like It's that. not from the hood. It's from the hood. That's how you know it means serious business. Okay. Now it's time for Bam to freak out while he tries to remember how to fight this dragon. Also, you're more or less fighting a force of nature right now. Just remember. I, I mean, I've done it once already. Yes. How, how hard can it be? Last time it nearly killed you. How hard can it be? You had one more star of health last time, too. How hard can it be? As in, it killed you last time. <laughs> You're going in for a show tonight, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, as Bam goes one on one with the Bright Moon Trigon. Last time he nearly got his ass kicked, in, but he managed to scrimp away with just one heart remaining. Now, with only four stars, will he be able to take it? Probably not. Let's get this folly no, started. I did it anyway. Fuck you. And back and forth he goes. Uh, no match point yet. This is basically a tennis match. You are playing Pong with a force of nature, my friend. Hey, how many... It's like it's like uh, from Reboot. Okay, I really oh. hoped you watched Reboot. Oh, my. Wow, you just really dated us. I did. I dated did. us both. But remember when, like, if you wanted to ask Fong something, you had to play, like, Pong with him? Yes. Play Pong with Fong? Yeah. God, I miss that show. Come on. I you, actually, it's on Netflix now. It is. And I also... Oh, fuck. I actually own, like... Uh, uh, damn it. I told you. Okay. Whatever. It counts. But no, I was going to say, I actually own some DVDs of that show, by the way. Oh, you actually own DVDs of I that? do. I do. I bought them, like, after the fact when I was growing up. And I was like, fuck yeah, I remember Reboot. Because uh, they were... I think they were, like, at a yard sale or something. Oh, dear... God, what's happening? I don't know. I get the feeling I'm going to need to dodge, though. They split, and now it's coming toward you like this giant pink vortex of doom. I don't see how that could possibly go wrong. Yeah. By the way, I love that little sidestep animation. Her hair just, like, goes flip, and it's really cool. Flip. I flip my hair back and forth. Don't you dare. I don't have any hair to flip back and this forth. Is have you seen my this avatar? True. This is very true. My beard does not flap in the wind. He flips his beard back and forth. He flips his beard back and forth. Now, if somebody wants to make that <laughs> particular, um, what's what's the word for it? GIF? No. Uh, Although we'll take a GIF of me oh, flipping yeah. my beard back and oh, forth. Oh, yeah. If anybody well. wants to, like, animate a GIF of Kurtz flipping his beard back and forth, we will totally, like, watch and promote and love that shit forever. I would love to see Weird Al Yankovic do a, uh, <laughs> I flip my beard back and forth. Shit! Sorry. <laughs> That's okay, I know you're, you're busy. Shit! Oh god, oh god! And tonight's fight has been decided! Well, oh, we got to discover what happens when we die. You're just gonna eat a mushroom, right? Yeah. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that without taking a hit. Also, um, the fact that she is sort of... Uh, see-through? See-through when she gets... dead. Yeah. When she get dead... When she get dead, she get dead. English majors through yep. and through. Yep. Uh, let's talk to somebody. Yeah. Dogfella. Sure, why not? Bark, bark, bark! The whirling infinity of the summon of Minjita awaits you. Only oh, wait, the tri- we've already read this. Oh. I think we've already read all of them, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Sorry. Oh, wait. Scythian. While the bright moon looms, we have enacted a weird, su- a super weird moon miracle on an impossible island in the midst of a placid lake. Watch out, there's crocodiles. Are there? No. No. Yeah, I, we, I, we, I was we, making a reference. 
I'm completely lost. There is a film called Lake Placid. Oh! Yes. All right, well, unfortunately... Bam sucked ass. Yes, unfortunately, Bam sucked ass. So we're going to have to, to try and beat the Bright Moon Trigon next time. But I will for sure beat it next time and not spend 15 minutes failing. Yeah. At least it was an entertaining 15 minutes. At least... It, hey, we did stuff. Hey, we talked, Thank God. We talked about our childhoods. We did. We the did. sharing session was nice. <sighs> if you liked this episode of, of Kurtz and Bam Share Their Childhood, just, just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share it with all your friends. And you know what? In the comments... Let us know about your childhood. Yeah. Did Google. you have any weird cartoons that probably no one else remembers, like Reboot? If you watched Reboot, let us know. We oh, yeah. Totally be down for a viewing party. Re- reboot for the win. Reboot. Yep. We need to reboot that shit. Ah! That's, bad. That's enough bad news. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.